The University of Oregon has one of the highest ranked business schools in the nation. The Lowell's Business Complex is home to the university's business administration and accounting programs. With classes such as Management 335, Launching New Ventures, and Marketing 445, Entrepreneur Marketing, students can learn the skills needed to start their own businesses. Senior Jordan Carter is finishing up his entrepreneurial concentration in the business school. He is currently running his own clothing company entitled Chief Repertory Apparel. Carter says the guidance from the school has been very helpful. There's a lot of professors here who actually care about my business um, and have given me, given me advice, um, sent, me, sent me resources, sent me to other professors or instructors to get help, um, answered any questions I've ever had. Um, even in classes, they'll, they'll tell the classes about my website. Um, they'll let me talk in front of the classes to show off my website. Carter launched his brand in 2011, but he isn't the only Oregon student to break into the clothing industry. University of Oregon senior Sam Hassan is the director of public relations and co-founder of Cultural Blends, a clothing company that you won't have to look too far to find their merchandise. All I did was I, I emailed the, the director of merchandise for the Blazers and I asked her, I said, you know, do you guys want to carry these hats? And it was right after Damien um, wore our hat. And so we had, I, I showed her the picture of that. And she immediately was like, yes, I'll take 85 hats. And the hats that she had, she they put them out there for the game four against the Spurs. And by halftime, all 84 hats were sold. But being a student entrepreneur isn't as easy as it seems. Some work alongside startup accelerator companies like Third Ocean that help entrepreneurs bring their plans to life. When we work with startups, we have a client comes in, we narrow in their idea to like an exact business idea. We call a business plan. And then we get a team around the idea. So depending on what their strengths and weaknesses are, depends on what kind of team we form around. After business ideas are developed, then it's time for the company to create their prototype. Seniors Marcus Jensen and Andrew Davison, co-founders of a workout app called Gymsay, are currently in this phase. Produce a product right now to produce a prototype to start testing with um, select groups of users, select sports teams, select um, personal trainers to really get feedback on uh, how this can best help our end user. Young entrepreneurs face many challenges in their initial stages of business ownership. Currently we're all living in different locations, like either at our parents' house or at an apartment. So it's not really good business to be spread out like that and not be doing, have a central location. You're gonna maybe not get funding from one investor, you're maybe gonna have to try a whole lot. Maybe the software is not gonna work right, but you kinda just have to keep fighting. So that's, uh, that's kind of just the, uh, the, the biggest struggle, I guess, just getting through your head that failure doesn't exist. It's, uh, they're all just learning opportunities. Through these challenges, there are lessons to be learned. I've learned that uh, people, if uh, real estate is location, 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 business is people, people, people. It's all about who you know, uh, who, what they know, who they know, and kind of connecting dots to make something happen. Overall, these student entrepreneurs love what they do. I love being an entrepreneur. Like, um, it's fun. You know, I, I think anyone that can do it, I would advise them to do it because it feels really good to work for yourself and to make your own money um, and not have to worry about a boss, you know, telling you what time to come in the morning and, and what time to leave and what you can and can't do. Once you're, you're in a clear, clear, sunny day and you're feeling good about everything, there's no better feeling. So you feel like you're making your dreams happen. Ronald Clark, Oregon Extra.